Welcome back to another video lesson. This is going to be our second video where we will be practicing dividing. So it's just dividing fractions. And one uh, page to fill out in our table of contents. Dividing fractions practice can be the name of it. We're going to be on page 50. And you should have that purple page of notes. I'll show you what to do with that. So it's really easy today. Uh, for your notes, you have to trim down the top of it, and I want you to put that on the top of your page 50. So you're going to have this middle section just uh, clear for examples, and then you need to tack and glue on the bottom of your page the examples three and examples four and five on the bottom, and then you can just work around in your space on page 50. So you learned yesterday and in the video before how to keep, change, and flip. And now we know the song that goes along with it, uh, Stop in the Name of Divide. We are going to be multiplying by reciprocals today. So that's just a review. So here's the first part of our notes that we're going to talk about. I want to give you some ideas for different topics that you'll see in word problems that deal with division. So some story ideas, the context or the, the topic around these numbers could be dealing with dividing food items. It could be sunflower seeds, it could be anything from the bulk section of like Wegmans or something like that. You could buy like one and a half pounds of baking chocolate if you're making some candy over the holidays, or you can buy a um, certain amount of pounds of peanuts from the bulk section. So food is a topic that you'll see in word problems for division. Another topic is dividing land into acres. You might have a piece of property that is one and a quarter acre long, and you might want to split up um, that into different sections. So that is another topic that you could see in word problems. And then just objects in general that you can cut up or slice up, like subs, sub sandwiches. You could have a foot long sub and you can divide it into quarter sections. You could have a piece of wood any length that we've done before. You could also do it with fabric or candy if you have licorice into fractional pieces. The last topic that I have on here, you could deal with distance. That is another topic that you'll see in word problems. And you could be running a race that is two and a half miles long. And it might be a relay race, so you might want to divide that race up amongst five runners, and so you can kind of see where we might be going with that topic. You're going to be asked to come up with your own story idea tomorrow and in one of our examples. So that's why I gave you some ideas here that you could use to write your own word problem. Let's try some examples. So the purpose of today and tonight and tomorrow is to practice dividing. All week long, I'm going to be doing that. So here's example one. Again, I'm going to be in between my purple sheets that I've glued in on page 50 to just do uh, through five examples on. So um, for example one, I do want you to write the original problem first. So this is exactly what we're going to be doing in our notebook with the division sign equals something. Here's our answer line. When we have mixed numbers and when we have whole numbers, we need to change them before we keep change flip. That's why I want you to make sure you're writing the original problem first, and then we're going to change anything we need to change, and then we're going to keep change flip. Since we don't need to change anything, we can then circle and write our K, write our C, and then write our F, and underneath we're going to keep and change and flip. Some kids like to um, do a shortcut and just take the original problem and keep change flip. When it gets more complicated, then um, that's when mistakes start happening. So now we have two thirds times eight thirds. I don't have anything I can simplify first with, so I'm going to multiply across. I get 16 ninths. 
In order to write this as a mixed number, I must divide numerator by denominator. 9 times 2 is too much, so I have 9 times 1 is 9, and I have a 7 left over. That means my mixed number is 1 and 7 ninths. For example 1. Let's try number 2. Example 2 is with a whole number. So a little practice from yesterday, but notice the whole number is not the dividend. It is the divisor. It's the second number. Remember, first number is always the dividend. The second number is always the divisor. So when we write this, we're going to, in our notebooks, write example two. We're going to write it with the division sign first equals what? That's the original problem. Now we're going to rewrite the division problem with the division sign before we keep change flip. And that's important to do. I want you to put it over one first. Lots of people try to do this in their head, and that's where errors start to happen. Now that we have two fractions, we can keep change flip, and we have 5 sevenths times 1 tenth. Here we can do the simplify first trick. So 5 divided by 5 is 1, 10 divided by 5 is 2, and so now we have 1 14th as our answer. Really important that we don't keep change flip until we have two fractions. One of these will start to be improper when we're dealing with mixed numbers and whole numbers. Let's try example 3. You should have some room still in the center. Um, I did the two examples right underneath my dividing uh, fraction story context. Now I have a big space underneath before I get to my purple uh, word problems. And here is this story context that I was talking about. So what I want you to do is look up above at some of those ideas I shared and come up with a situation where you would have to have two-thirds as your big total, whether it's an acre, two-thirds of an acre of land, two-thirds of a pound of peanuts, whatever your topic is, and then you're going to need to divide it into groups of one-sixth. That's your divisor. And you have to actually write out your word problem. I want you to do that on your own, and then I'll share mine. So this is my example. My sister Kelly, really my sister, is making gift bags, and she has two-thirds pound of candy. So she went to the store and she bought in the bulk section a bunch of candy. Now she wants to divide it up into each bag. She wants one-sixth pound of the chocolate in each bag. I have to say that so that I know, oh, that's my divisor. And my question is how many bags can she make? So if you had trouble with this, you can come up with your own topic, but then follow these sentences and this sentence structure to write your own. So if you want to pause now and kind of fix your problem, you need to make sure you tell us how much of whatever you have, whether it be land or candy or um, whatever your topic is, and then you want to tell use that word each, because each piece is going to be one-sixth of that, and so now we're going to be dividing. So, now we're going to solve, and we have two-thirds dividing by one-sixth. We're going to keep, change, and flip. So we will have two-thirds being multiplied by six. I can do the um, divide and simplify first trick. Now I have two times two, which is four. 1 times 1, 1, which is just the whole number 4. I do need to put the context with this. What am I talking about? I'm talking about, in my case, 4 bags or 4 gift bags. So hopefully you got 4 and then whatever your context is, and now we're going to move on to the last two word problems. So you have these word problems, so you're going to practice marking up your problem as I read it along. I actually did number four, the work, in between on that purple page. Um, so you can see on my notebook, I actually have been using this space 
for example four, and then I'll have some room over here for example five, just to kind of give you some spatial. So obviously, if you took up too much room, you can always go out in the back. Raymond is making party favors. He's dividing three-fourths pounds of almonds into 12 packages, so similar to my example with Kelly. Write and solve an equation to find how many pounds of almonds are in each package. So what is important? We have three-fourths pounds of almonds, and we want to divide, here's our keyword, into 12 packages. So what are we starting with? What's the total that's being divided up? This is the dividend. So you can think of it as the total that you're starting with, and then the divisor is this 12. Another way you can mark up these divisors and dividends is because we are going to be writing these horizontally. This dividend is going to be the number that we write first in our horizontal equation, and this is the number that we're going to write second. When it says write an equation, write and solve an equation, we're just going to come up with the problem ourselves. So we have to decide, is it 12 divided by 3 fourths or 3 fourths divided by 12? So because we are starting with the 3 fourths pounds of almonds, and that's what we're splitting up into different packages, the 3 fourths comes first, then we have our division sign, and then we have the number 12. As soon as we have that equal sign in our uh, expression, we have an equation, and is something, we don't know. That is our equation. We plug in our numbers with our division sign and our equal sign, and we are trying to find that answer. So write, done. Now we have to solve. So we're going to first rewrite this division problem with the 12 over 1. Then we're going to keep change flip. So circle, 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 keep change flip. And then over here, we have 3 fourths that we're keeping. Change it to multiplication and flip and find the reciprocal of 12, which is 1 12. Good news is we can do our simplify first trick, 3 divided by 3, 12 divided by 3, and we have our answer of 1 16. So we have to add our topic. What is our unit? We're talking about pounds of almonds in each package. So that is our answer for number four, or example four. Now we have one left. Make sure you're writing and um, marking up your, your word problem and then doing the work um, below. Now I have example five left and then we'll be done. So example five has a tiny little typo. Uh, see if you can find it. A neighborhood garden that is two thirds of an acre is to be divided into, so sorry, wrong uh, ending there, into four equal sized sections. Write and solve an equation to find the size of each section. So what's important, we have two thirds of an acre is to be divided into four equal size sections. So you have to decide which number comes first and it's the dividend and which number comes second and is the divisor. Again, we're going to start with a plot of land. How big is the plot of land? That is our starting spot. And then we're going to divide it into four equal sections. So I'm going to mark this up as my dividend. That's the first number I'm going to write in my equation. I'm going to mark this one as the divisor. That's the second number in my equation. So now my equation is going to be 2 thirds being divided by 4. And that's going to equal my answer. Here's our equation. Now let's put the 4 over 1. Notice the 4, the whole number is the divisor again. Now we have to keep change flip. Keep change flip is going to equal 2 thirds times 1 fourth. There's nothing I can do to simplify this down more, so all I have to do, oh, sorry, I can. <laughs> 2 and 4 can simplify down. There we go. 
and we have one six. If you had done two twelfths, you just would have had to divide by two at the end. So our answer to our equation with our topic and our unit written to the right is what one sixth acre. That will be each piece. We'll fill that in in our picture. And I look forward to seeing you tomorrow where we will practice a whole bunch of fraction problems. Sometimes they'll be word problems, sometimes they won't be. I'll see you tomorrow.